three years ago, I purchased this 1969 Corvette from a gentleman who had owned it for 44 years. I then sold the car, and here we are again three years later. I uh, just took it back on trade. This gentleman wanted to get something different. Uh, while he owned the car, he spent $8,000 at a Corvette shop just having service done, which we'll go over in a little bit. But it's a 72,000 mile original number matching 350 with the 350 horsepower, four speed, 355 posi rear end, and it has the factory side pipes. That's a big deal. It's a very desirable option. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all about it. You can look at pictures top to bottom. That's where you find a price tag along with the monthly finance option as well. We also have a buy it now button. If you're real excited about a car, click the button. That way it just locks it in for you while you're thinking and talking to the salesman. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Believe it's a no-hit car. Standing here, I can tell you the lines all around the hood and the doors, the lines are really nice. Uh, it is an older paint job and it's held up really well. It's Riverside Gold. But let's look at the body. Headlight door fits spot on. The hood fits spot on, square and flush. No damage. There is a hairline crack. The last Corvette I did had the same thing. It's a typical thing. Oh, where did it go? Now I can't even find it. Not the light change. There's just one hairline right on the peak. All this is real nice. Door lines up real nicely. Nice. T-tops fit real well. No damage, no issues, no cracks or damage or repairs. This all looks really good. I don't see any issues with this body. Actually, I'm very impressed with this body. Oh, very nice. Door lines up beautifully. Shuts so nice. All fits really well. Excellent shape. All this stuff here lines up real nicely. So the body looks to be in excellent shape. This headlight fits real nice, nice and smooth across here. Uh, so body is great. It's Riverside Gold. Does have a pretty good like rock chip right here, half the size of my pinky nail, uh, touched up. They did put an extra dose of metal flake in it, so it's got a lot of sparkle when the light hits it. Overall, the paint is uh, shiny. It's a clear coat. It's smooth. It's nice looking. All the vacuum uh, door and headlights, that all works as part of the $8,000 he spent. All new vacuum lines for the system, headlight actuators. The windshield looks real nice and clear. All the trim is nice and straight, not beat up. Door handle's original, just a little bit of patina. Has the optional chrome louvers that go in, in here. That's an option. And again, the side pipes. You spent $1,500. The previous owner spent $1,500 on the new covers. Here's a little imperfection in the paint. Literally looks like a bug landed in the paint. I think it's like a little mosquito. Uh, bumpers are shiny. They're probably an 8 out of 10. They sit level across. This is all shiny. So this is where a factory alarm would have been. So that, that was always there, but it is replaced. I have no idea if that works or not. The little vents here, normally painted over. They're aluminum. Someone polished them. Uh, it has the correct antenna. Yeah, the paint's actually really nice on it. Here's a, another touch-up right here. The rear window on these actually pop out. So those tops, you know, they come right off. The window pops out. It all fits behind the seat. Practically a convertible with a roll bar. So that's the outside of the car. No, I got more to talk about. The front bumper, all this top bumper is real nice. The bottom has a little more patina. Still has the weather shields that are uh, protecting the headlights right now. And then it's got some 15 by 8 Corvette Rally wheels, the original correct wheels, uh, with some high-performance tires. Literally, it says high-performance. So very nice outside. Let's look at the inside. So this is a very well-preserved car. It's not a perfect car, but it's a really good car. It has my respect. 
the weather strips uh, could be original. They're in good shape. Uh, door jams look nice. Door panels in excellent shape. Got a couple wrinkles right in the armrest area, but it's in very nice shape. Dash area is very good. 72,895 original miles. The knobs, the vents, the dash pad, all that's really nice. Uh, all the instrumentation looks nice and clean. Original AM FM radio. Again, nothing broken or beat up. Kick panels original. The light works. The carpet, probably original carpet in the car too. It just has enough fade on it that's in real nice shape. This is all real good. The correct shifter. Here's the 350 horsepower emblem with 380 pounds of torque. Uh, this here does have some cracks. Someone must have sat on it and it's a little bit worn. This dust is from the seat cushions. They've turned to powder. So the upholstery is very good. Uh, the cushions are kind of disintegrating. The piping right here is rubbed through. But this is original. You know, a lot of people love that. Flip the seat forward. Headrests in real nice shape. The back of the seat, see how this is not all beat up or broken. Looks like it has, I think these are deluxe seat belts. The light works back here. Has the bags for the T-tops. It has a car cover. And it actually has the uh, e-brake plastic cover. Here's a new one. Uh, this is the compartment that opens up. That's where the window goes. And then the T-tops would just sit right there on the floor in their bags. Now looking up at all the plastic trim, the inside of the headliners and the visors, all real nice. Again, not new, but it's not beat up. It's 53, 54-year-old interior in real nice shape. Steering wheel's not beat up. Interior lights work. Nice, well-preserved Survivor interior. So there's about 1,500 miles on the rebuild of the engine. This is the original engine. It's VIN number matched to this car. The right castings and dates and codes. They did upgrade it with roller rockers, but they did preserve the original appearance. Stock manifolds. Air cleaner. By the way, the air cleaner in our pictures was not assembled properly. It's it's all good now. All the ignition shielding. I think the 350 horse might have come with the finned aluminum valve covers. I might be wrong about that. Uh, he put on a new master cylinder, a new alternator. Uh, it's a new radiator. A GM reproduction hose. Shroud looks to be in excellent shape. Still has the correct uh, fuel filter in place. Uh, it looks like they ran some new brake lines. So just, a, again, a well-preserved, clean, proper engine compartment. And that's a strong run in 350 horsepower, which is a different engine. It's four-bolt mains. It's heavier-duty, heavier-duty cooling. So it is the optional motor. Them side pipes rumble. I also wanted to point out that there's an area in the paint right here where it's lifted a little bit and there's a little crack. I'll demonstrate all the vacuum doors are working. AM FM radio works. Clutch feels smooth, shifts nice in the gear. So underneath the car is very respectable. You know, these have four wheel independent suspension. Uh, it's been to a Corvette shop. He spent eight grand there. If they had noticed something that needed to be done, I'm sure they would have told them and he would have done it. Um, we also give the car an inspection ourselves. Also has four-wheel disc brakes. Uh, in our inspection, we did adjust the parking brake cables, so the brakes are all in good shape. Uh, you look up at the motor, the oil pan, all that's still real nice and clean because the motor was just rebuilt. It does have a new high-torque starter. It 
has its VIN number matched M20 Muncie four-speed transmission. Also has its original dated and coded 355 Posi rear end. The frame is solid. The floors are in real nice shape. I didn't see any damage. Does have the spare tire carrier. And I'm looking at it like, what's missing under here? It's missing the exhaust and the mufflers because they're hanging off the side of the car. Uh, during our inspection, a couple other things we did. I just read we replaced the distributor, uh, oil pressure sending unit. We replaced the uh, amp gauge, I believe it was. So again, our cars are serviced. This is a good car, not a perfect car, but a good survivor car. Great equipment, 350 horse, side pipe, four speed, posi car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman to help get this delivered to your door. They'll help you finance it. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and click on the bell icon so you're notified as the next video is posted. Thanks for watching. Is it valiant out there? Uh -huh. Is it out there? Yeah.